All right, let's try this one more time. This is uh, <clears throat> the revision of Facebook uh, Live Friday. And the reason that I'm doing it again is because I actually watched it and I think where I was before, when you're on the coast, it's just the cell phone service isn't great. But anyway, I really just wanted to kind of hone in on what the message was and that is the process and how important it is um, as we go towards the destination and really learning to surrender to even the frustration in the process is what I found has been really helpful and an example that I, I really wanted to use was when I work with clients, uh, especially the ones that are in some type of career transition and often when they come to me, you know, they're really frustrated. They've either been at a current company that's been pretty toxic and unhealthy and they want to get out and they feel stuck um, or, you know, people that have been job searching like I had been um, for a long time and just not having the results that they want. And so, you know, the first thing that I usually tell them is that their feelings are really valid and if you are in a process of either being in a dysfunction of some some type of whether that's the work environment you're in or if you are um, just experiencing what I call in the first chapter of my book is not to take things personally in the job interview uh, I basically use the metaphor that a lot of employers gain the, the mentality of an A-list celebrity. And what I mean by that is that when you have thousands of people desperately coming after you for something, it's a lot easier to be dismissive. Um, you know, even at the end of the day is like I express in my book to have compassion for them because you can't respond to a thousand people. You know, that's why they have um, automated systems to filter through resumes. But the point is, is that while you could still understand the other side more and that might give you a little better um, sense of serenity I guess or just acceptance it doesn't mean that it's okay and it also doesn't mean that you need to be putting up with um, the type of treatment you're getting or the lack of responses or just you know having and this has happened to me too is like having companies call you the day before for an interview and just expect you to be there and they you submitted a resume like three months ago and when you tell them that you have another job and you can't just give your current employer short notice they're like well sorry we got other people and so you know um, the process and that feeling of frustration or um, just uh, I guess like understanding that we're gonna have some resistance and we're not gonna feel good right then you know but it's about embracing even that frustration it's about knowing that you didn't do anything wrong but to not play the victim card but to know that you there's things that you could do differently and you know for for me what it is 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 just basically looking at my own actions or non-actions or reactions and choosing to respond differently and so you know one of those things was i started seeking um professional advice on job searching or um, you know, really talking to other experts about um, good companies to work for, reading articles, taking advantage of different webinars on LinkedIn, on you know, other platforms that would help me in my quest to go after what I really wanted. And you know, if at the time a lot of those things I was doing, um, you know, didn't cost anything because I didn't have the money to invest. And sometimes you do the best. You know, I always say like, do the best. Um, you can with what you got in the moment. And I think that's really important. Sometimes we're, you know, um, in a more difficult place financially than others, but we, there's always options that we have. And um, that's really just part of the process. So you can choose to um, stay stuck or you could accept that frustration. You could accept that and be okay with it and have some compassion for yourself, um, that you're not alone, you know, and reaching out to other people that are going through something similar is a great way. And just just seeing the, the growth, even if it's small during the process. So doing something like, you know, I have a mentor that talks about contrary action. So even if that's one thing that I did differently with something that's really difficult, um, to give myself credit for doing that one thing differently. 
And so maybe there's something that you could, like one thing that you could do differently this uh, coming weekend, this, this next week, this next month, that will help you in some area where you're feeling frustrated or stuck or resistant. All right, well hopefully uh, you guys enjoy this message and I will talk to you soon, bye.